Okay, Leo, we got uncertainty for your first card. Then we have self-reflection, validation, and then we have command. So, Leo, there is somebody who is a bit uncertain about where y'all stand, Leo. This person been doing a lot of thinking about you and the um, the behavior that that has been in your situation or your relationship, you know, and I just felt like at this point, you got this person deep in thought and it's because your person has gained some form of respect for you, Leo. We got validation right here. Your person has definitely gained some form of validation. Um, well, you have gained some form of validation from your person. I feel like this is somebody that you that has that you have put on a pedestal at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? And you made this person feel special in a way. But it is saying that you demand that respect. You know what I'm saying? And that's why your person has gained a lot more respect for you because not only you demand respect, I I feel like you are somebody they feel like is worth holding on to because you have everything under control. You know what I'm saying? No matter what has happened between the two of you, Leo, you have basically walked away and I strongly feel like your person respect that. You know, they respect the simple fact that you have walked away and it makes them, you know, see you in a different light, Leo, and they validate you in a good way even more, Leo, because of your discipline. You know what I'm saying? So you walking away, Leo, from this person, it making this person see you in a different light and they respect your wishes. They respect you walking away from them, you know, because you will not settle for anything less anymore. So let's dive a little bit deeper in this situation because I feel like this person knows that you are a good person. I feel like you have proved to this person that you are somebody that is valuable, you know, and you demand that respect. So it's like, they just don't know where you stand, though. Yeah, because this person has some feelings for you. We got the Ace of Cups. Some of y'all's person don't know if you're in another relationship. Maybe you are in another relationship, or maybe you are dating somebody else. But, wow, we got the Five of Pentacles. So, your person is definitely thinking about what they have lost. Because we got self-reflection, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. So, your person is definitely deep in thought, thinking about their behavior, some of y'all's person left you out in the cold, but now they are feeling left out in the cold, Leo. But it is saying that this person do wants to come back, Leo. This person definitely do want to come back. They feel like losing you was definitely a loss because you was somebody valuable, you know. And we're going we're gonna to dive a little bit deeper. <laughs> okay, we got the King of Swords. Yeah, because you're not talking to them no more. That's why they feel like losing you was definitely a L to them because you're not talking to this person. Some of y'all, this person um, may have manipulated you in a way. You know, maybe they lied to you about some things. We got the sun reversed. Yeah, which caused you to be, you know, basically cut this person off because you feel like the situation was leaving you unhappy, Leo. But it is saying that your person is definitely is thinking about what they have done to you, they're thinking about you leaving them because you they know that you're somebody of value, you know, and you have every right to stop talking to them. But at the same time, it's like, you know, your person is definitely unhappy because you're not talking to them, Leo. They they are definitely unhappy, you know, and um they wanna they wanna make it right. This person definitely definitely wanna make it right. They wanna make it up to you, but we're gonna see. Okay, what else spirit in this situation? Yeah, because this person, they, they mad. They want to come back, Leo. Because this person definitely did fall in love with you. It's like the more you walked away, Leo... And demanded that respect and allowed them to go through their hardships alone, the more this person fell in love with you. Some of y'all could be dealing with an older man or an older woman. Um, but it is saying this person do love you and they do want to come back after being in their head. This person is definitely in their head. Some of y'all probably dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, or maybe you could be a Leo or a Virgo. 
or air sign. I'm seeing water, air, Leo, and Virgo. We got the two of pentacles. Yeah, they deeply in thought about not only their actions, what's, what is that caused you to walk away, but they deep in thought about you maybe in another connection, whether that's true or not, right? We got the Knight of Wands. Dang, yeah. This walk, didn't I say walking away? It, it, it made them struggle even more. It made them struggle even more. Especially in a material life, Leo. You know, but... Okay, let me pull one more. That's too many. One more card, Spirit. Clear and the messages, please. We're going to take the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person... Some of y'all's person really is going to end up coming back, though. But like I said, you probably already got stuff going on yourself whether you are juggling other people dating some of y'all could be dating multiple people um or if not like i said you got a lot of things going on in your life where you could be juggling work school maybe you got kids and then you got to go to work maybe you have two jobs maybe you have two businesses you know what i'm saying but i am getting that energy where your person is thinking about coming back and making it up to you leo that's exactly what i'm saying and it really was, I keep hearing losing you was an L, like losing you, it definitely had some form of an effect, it left an effect on their life, Leo, in their material life, and they know they acted out of impulse, you stopped talking to them because of their actions, we got the Knight of Wands up under the King of Swords Rebirth, because of their lies, because of their manipulation, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're up back and forth, some of y'all's person is definitely a player, you know, but it's saying that, this person hasn't changed. I'm going to be real with y'all. This Knight of Wands is up, right? Your person's still the same old, same old. But for some reason, they still want to hold on to you. Just to play it safe. And I feel like that's because they're struggling. That's the only reason why this person... Yes, they do love you. But I feel like your person may struggle with their material life. Like, they struggle with, like, keeping a job, maintaining their, you know, managing their money. It could be anything like that, right? But... Like I said, they feel like they got to run back to the safe zone, which is you, with this Knight of Wands right here and this Four of Wands. Because, like I said, this, this stands out so much to me. This person want to run back to you. You know what I'm saying? Because that's fast-moving energy. But the faster they come back, the quicker they'll be out again. You know what I'm saying? They're still going to do them. So no matter how they feel, I just felt like your person is, is they have a hard time being grounded and staying disciplined within themselves and their money. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm really picking up on with your person's energy. I feel like they could be a player. You know what I'm saying? They're not never stable, you know, and maybe they just really don't know what they really what they really want. All they want is a place to stay and to have that, like I said, that comfort and that stability, you know. And um, like I said, this could be an older man or maybe an older woman. But at the same time, there they come back, but... I just felt like your person's still not stable. They're still not stable. It's just they come back for to get and leave. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yes, you are their ten of cups. Some of y'all definitely is going to be another relationship by the time this person come back. You definitely is. But let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. What else, Spirit, in this situation? Clear intuitive messages, please, for Leo Collective in this situation. Clarify the Hermit reversed, Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. We got expectation. So you may have knew this person was going to come back. Look, we got warning. We got dreaming. We got resist. So, yeah, I feel like y'all knew this person was going to come back. Maybe they do this all the time, right? Maybe this is a repetitive cycle. But it is saying that your person is going to come back and you expected it. You expected this person to come back because, you know, the struggle, because of what's going on. And then you, and, and they, like I said, at the same time, this person could be juggling. Some of y'all's person is juggling you. Well, I can't say you because you left them, right? Or maybe they left you. But your person is not only struggle in their stability, but your person also um, juggling 
another person. But it is saying that you still see red flags this person when they come back. You still see. We got a warning right here. And that could be why you could be, you know, a very big, a, I mean, very cautious in regards to this person when they come back. You know, because you, you feel like this person is telling you what you want to hear. You feel like this person is, you know, just feeding you some form of a fantasy, right? And that could be why you refuse to accept them back because we got resist right here. You know, you feel like they can't get it together. You don't want to be with them because you feel like they just can't get it together, Leo. You really feel that way. You know, you're just tired of the inconsistency. You're tired of the mind games, the lying, the, like I said, some of y'all cheating. Because I am seeing some of y'all's person juggle you and another person or just was just been juggling the whole entire time, you know. And I feel like some of y'all probably packed your stuff and left or you just left because of the instability and their impulsive behavior okay what else spirit in this situation so some of y'all be feel like this person is telling you when they come back y'all feel like this person is going to tell you what you want to hear some of y'all going to feel that way because they really you feel like this person really not going to listen you feel like this person ain't going to listen regardless so what it is that they say or what it is that they need or what it is or how they feel. You feel like this person still ain't going to be able to get it right. They feel left out in the cold. Now they want to come back. Because y'all, this person got too comfortable. But at the same time, like I said, um, they know you worthy, Leo. They, they know you somebody worth. That's what worth holding on to. But... At the same time, I feel like I don't deserve to put up with this person's behavior because they know you are worthy, right? You know? That's the only reason why they want to come back. We got autumn. Some of y'all's person could be coming back in the autumn, but it is saying that they're still not going to listen. They're still going to fall short. Every time they get back, gain back their stability, you know, they fall off again. And then they write back, they leave again, or, you know, run the streets again, do what they've been doing. And then they come back, and it's like, some of y'all, this type of person that probably be gone days at a time. Some of y'all, this person does be gone days at a time. Yeah. They want some form of control over the situation, y'all. Some of y'all definitely could be eventually leaving this person alone, dropping them. And, and you know what I'm saying? And just literally taking control over the situation because maybe you do have somebody else in mind. And that could be the reason why you could be re rejecting this person. Some of y'all going to literally reject this person. I'm not, I don't see coming back. Even if they do come back, they still going to do the same thing and you're going to end up leaving them again. This story can go both ways. You see what I'm saying? Because, like I said, y'all going to have somebody else anyways. Y'all have somebody that you have a crush on or that's crushing on you. And maybe you already dating this person or you thinking about dating this person. And the new person could be your divine. The divine feminine or masculine. That's exactly what I'm seeing. So let me pull a um an oracle card. But I feel like eventually, even if you do let this person back in, they're still up to the same stuff, you know, and you're gonna end up leaving them. Either way, it's saying that you're gonna leave this person, whether you take them back or not. Because some of y'all just gonna fly out leave them when they do come back again. You know what I'm saying? Without giving them another two, three chances, right? But Y'all gonna be interested in a whole other person. Like y'all cause y'all y'all feel like y'all just get tired of, of dealing with this type of energy or just this person, period. If this is somebody that she was actually committed to, you know, but that's the only reason why I wanna hold on to you because they know that you are somebody that care. You know what I'm saying? You are somebody that is worthy. You are somebody that's worth holding on to. They know that you did care enough about them to put up with their BS, but I feel like no more. I feel like no more. Yeah, you have transformed. You have made chances. You are starting a new beginning. You are ending that old, and you are starting a new beginning. That's exactly what I'm saying. Look, some of y'all freed yourself from that person because I feel like a lot of y'all been going through a repetitive cycle with this person. Wow. We got family. I feel like a lot of you guys are all about family. Some of y'all's person did come from a, um, a toxic family. That's exactly what I'm seeing. But it is saying that you are doing a deep transformation within your family because of what you have been through with this person. You just don't want your kids to go through this, Leo. Some of y'all just, that could be one of the changes, you know, because you have children. Of course, not everybody, but 
I am getting that energy where some of y'all this person did grow up with a toxic family or you could have grew up with a toxic family, Leo, and you could be the, the black sheep. Maybe you could be the one that only make changes in your family, right? While they may be still toxic and you just don't want your, your children to go through this, whether you have kids or not. But I am getting that energy where you are making this big, deep, heavy transformation in your life, Leo, and for the sake of your family. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates and y'all take care.